This is Nancy Leader on the Zeta Report. The Zetas have been asked to address migration patterns after the pole shift as the seas rise to 675 feet above their current level. As the populace becomes more and more aware of Zeta Talk accuracy, these migration routes are likely to become active well before the pole shift. What countries will be most affected and what direction will the drowning populace take? The rise of 675 feet in sea level within two years after the pole shift has been predicted by the Zetas as caused by the heat of friction during the crustal shift. Hot water takes up more space than cold water and the very deep oceans will heat up, swelling the oceans and thus the rise in sea level. Russia has immense territory that will be flooded, though eastern Russia will survive and have an excellent climate in the aftertime, and is at present sparsely populated. Just as the U.S. is moving Washington, D.C. to Denver, Russia has begun moving Moscow to the far east. Much of Europe is coastal lowlands and will gradually flood. Their populace must either take to boats, houseboat living, or migrate to Norway and Sweden or into the Alps or highlands of Spain. The UK will be affected not only by the sea level rise, but also by being pulled down as the Atlantic Rift is pulled apart. Scotland and Ireland have high land that will remain for the most part above the waves. For the Zetas, the elite may attempt a quick hop to Africa via Gibraltar, which they currently control. Russia does not want European migrants trudging through Russia toward the highlands of East Russia and Kazakhstan, thus their obsession with the Ukraine. Then there is the lure of Africa, which will be almost entirely above the waves in the aftertime. Former colonies of European countries will be approached with friendly offers. South Africa is very much sought by the elite. And per the Zetas, it is no accident that France was so eager to help Libya be free of Gaddafi. Well ahead of the pole shift, the sinking of the Sunda Plate has caused Australia to take firm measures to block illegal emigration from Indonesia to Australia. Australia will have to think of resettling their own citizens as the western two-thirds of Australia will be pulled under during the pole shift. China likewise has taken a firm stance against drowning refugees from the south clamoring into China. It is no secret that China has developed ghost cities in their interior as yet unpopulated. If one takes careful note these ghost cities are far away from India, which will become the new South Pole, and also along a curve of land destined to be above the sea level rise of 675 feet after the pole shift. China has taken note of Zeta Talk. China is also firmly guarding her southern borders along Southeast Asia and above India in Tibet. Migrants may come to these borders, but will be blocked and turned around. China, after all, does have populous cities along its coastline, and those provinces bordering India which will suddenly freeze to consider. They will relocate and take care of their own. India and those countries sharing the northern part of the Indo-Australia plate are already sinking steadily and have only more horrors to anticipate. The Zetas have advised them to take to boats and head to Africa, which is relatively underpopulated. They will likely, in any case, be in boats as the flooding exacerbates. In the Americas, the great flooding that will occur as a result of the 675 sea level rise will occur in the main within countries where migration will not be blocked but will perhaps be directed. Canada floods from the north, which is relatively unpopulated. In the continental U.S., the Mississippi Basin will flood, leaving only an island in the Ozark Mountains. 
Most of the populace west of the Mississippi would head toward the Rockies and Sierras, the mountains along the Continental Divide. This would be encouraged by the devastation from the coming New Madrid disaster, leaving lands along the Mississippi and in the eastern U.S. dealing with refugees and not putting out the welcome mat. Though struggling to survive in the sinking and crumbling Caribbean islands and Central America, will look to the highlands of South America, per the Zetas, as the lands to the north will have their own flooding shorelines. Until next time on the Zeta Report, I'm Nancy Leader.